Welcome to the East Carolina University Transfer Information Session. Thank you for taking time out of your day to learn a little bit more about ECU. We offer a hearty pirate welcome and invite you to get a firsthand look at what makes this place so special. If you are visiting with us today, you'd be on our main campus, part of which is pictured here. This is our mall and cupola. Mall, not to be confused with a shopping mall, but it kind of reminds me of a park. It's a big open grassy space on campus. We host different events out there and students will study or spend time with friends. And then our cupola, we have a little superstition. Students don't walk underneath the cupola until they're ready to graduate. Or the superstition is that it will take you longer to graduate from ECU. So just kind of a fun little superstition that we have. ECU is located in Greenville, North Carolina, and three of our four campuses are located in Greenville. That's going to be our historic main campus, our West Research Campus, which among other projects is home to the restoration labs for artifacts recovered from Queen Anne's Revenge, the flagship of Blackbeard, and our Health Science Campus, which is home to the Brody School of Medicine, College of Nursing, College of Allied Health, as well as School of Dental Medicine. We also do have an Outer Banks campus, which is home to our Coastal Studies Institute. We do offer students the opportunity to spend a semester out at the coast, take ECU classes, as well as get research and field experience. ECU is part of the UNC system. We are a public research university in North Carolina, and we have students that come from all 100 counties in North Carolina, 47 states plus DC and 99 countries. So students are coming from all over to be a part of Pirate Nation. We're probably about the fourth largest in terms of population size for the UNC system. That puts us at over 28,000 students, but that includes our graduate students. Typically undergrad population is between 23 and 24,000. And then we've also listed where our transfer students come from. About 35% of transfer students are distance education students and take their classes online. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about our online programs, go to online.ecu.edu. We have been recognized for our excellence at ECU, and this is something we are very proud of. We have received the Excellence of Diversity Award multiple times, as well as the Best Bang for Your Buck School, and are in the top 30% for social mobility, to name a few of the awards listed. ECU has a wide variety of undergraduate options. We have 87 bachelor's degrees and provide the opportunity for students to learn, to grow, and to succeed. We are the only North Carolina school with a College of Engineering and schools of medicine and dentistry at one university. We are home to the largest College of Education, College of Business, and College of Allied Health Science in North Carolina. And we are the healthcare university for North Carolina, graduating more healthcare professionals than any other university in the state. Our engineering program is the highest ranked program of its kind in North Carolina, and our programs in the fine and performing arts are among the best in the Southeast. You may be curious as to top transfer majors. Those are listed there. So nursing management, industrial technology, elementary education, marketing, biology, communication, psychology, exercise, physiology, and construction management. Even though we are a larger university, we still do have a 19 to one student to faculty ratio and faculty are required to have office hours if you need additional assistance. Our undergraduate majors are found in eight of our colleges and you can explore more about all of the degrees that we offer by going to our degree explorer. ECU was recently recognized as the top 100 public university for research in the health sciences for our continued innovations to prevent, treat, and deliver healthcare. And we do offer research opportunities not only for graduate students, but for undergraduate students at ECU. ECU does offer a transfer honors college program. Mm -hmm. Students compete for one of 10 spots available for every incoming class. And you'll see the requirements in order to be invited to apply. You'll need to submit an ECU transfer application, typically on or before December 8th. 
um, make sure that you check back with our office to see if that deadline has changed. We also look for a minimum of 24 credit hours from a North Carolina Community College and a 3.5 cumulative GPA from all institutions attended. You will also need to be entering a fall term as a campus-based student from a North Carolina Community College in order to be invited. If you receive the invitation to apply to the Honors College, it is a separate application that will need to be completed and has a separate deadline. If you are awarded one of the spots, um, you will receive a scholarship. We do offer over 200 plus study abroad programs at ECU, including ECU Tuscany, our permanent year round program based in the heart of Italy. We do have other faculty-led programs, summer abroad, and full semester exchange opportunities. ECU's motto translates to mean to serve, and we offer innovative programs and services to develop you as a passionate leader and an involved citizen. ECU is career focused and we have a great career services at ECU that offers multiple job fairs throughout the year, as well as interview prep, cover letter review, resume review. And as an ECU student, you also get access to a database called Handshake um, where you can see different internships and job postings. So now that you've learned a little bit more about ECU, I hope that you're excited to apply. You can fill out the application on our website only. There is a $75 application fee and we'll need your official college transcript from any institution attended. We look for 24 transferable credit hours along with English 1100, which if you're attending a North Carolina Community College is English 111. Our middle 50% for academic credentials for transfer applicants is a GPA of 2.6 to 3.4. These are the application deadlines for 2022. If you're interested in a future term, just make sure that you check back with our office for those new deadlines. Anyone interested in 2023, spring, summer, or fall, those applications will open up in August of 2022. At ECU, 73% of students receive financial assistance. You'll wanna fill out the FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid that will tell you if you're eligible for any grants, loans or work study opportunities through the government. We also do offer scholarships. You do have to be accepted to ECU before you can fill out the scholarship application through ECU awards. So just keep that in mind. We do have some great transfer resources. Some that I'm going to mention are our course equivalency tool. This is a great way to look at the institution that you're attending and how your credits will transfer to ECU. We also have degree plans for those that are attending a North Carolina Community College. Those are really helpful for you. Also check out the ECU online programs as well as Degree Explorer. And then we do have a great academic advising that is a great tool to use. You can reach out to advisors for any assistance that you need with class registration. For more information, you can go to transfer.ecu.edu. As a transfer student, you're not required to live on campus, um, but you can if you'd like to. We do have 16 residence halls located in three campus neighborhoods, which is gonna be West End, Central Campus, and College Hill. West End is gonna be closest walking distance to Uptown Greenville, restaurants, shops, as well as the Aiken Recreation Center, which is a fitness center on campus. Central Campus is kind of how it sounds. It's a little bit more centrally located. You're gonna be closest walking distance to Joiner Library and the main campus student center and the academic circle. If you're a sports fan and like to go to um, different sporting events, I'd encourage you to look at College Hill you'll be closest walking distance to the athletic facilities. Um, if you're interested in a living learning community, we do have one for transfer students called Quest. We do have two dining halls on campus, one in West End and one on College Hill. With the purple meal plan option to get unlimited swipes to the dining hall, but we do also have commuter meal plans that offer you 
different amounts of swipes, pirate meals, and purple bucks that you can use on campus. Some of the other dining locations that we have include Chick-fil-A, Raising Cane's, multiple Starbucks locations, Panda Express, um, to name a few. And I really hope that it is a pirate's life for you. We have a lot of different student organizations that you can get involved with. We actually have 500 plus that range from academic to social to service space. We have club sports, intramural sports, um, and kind of the difference between those are club sports, you may still compete against other institutions, while intramurals, you would just compete against ECU students. A fun tradition that we have is get a clue. And that typically happens in the fall once classes start. It's the largest involvement fair of the year. So that's a great way to mingle with all the student organizations and see which ones that you want to get involved with. Some other traditions that we offer at ECU include Paint It Purple Fridays. Everyone wears their ECU purple to support the pirates and show school spirit. We also have an entrepreneurship challenge, um, homecoming, polar bear plunge, where students will jump in the outdoor pool. And in the spring, also Barefoot on the Mall, where we invite entertainers to campus, have inflatables, free food, just a great way to wrap up the spring semester before finals. We are the Pirates and our colors are purple and gold. We are Division I at ECU and have 18 Division I sports. If you'd like to sit in the student section at the games, you can join the Pirate Club. And if you haven't already, I encourage you to visit campus. We do have campus tours. We also have virtual tours and self-guided tours. We have different academic days and admitted student days. Um, if you've been admitted to ECU for 2022, our admitted student day is March 26th, but we also have some admitted student Fridays days as well. Here's a picture of some of our staff. Please don't hesitate to reach out to transfer at ecu.edu if you have any questions or contact us via phone. And then our transfer webpage is going to be transfer.ecu.edu. You can also follow ECU admissions on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now TikTok um, to stay up to date with things as well. Thanks again for taking time to learn a little bit more about ECU. Go Pirates, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.